India is making a big purchase of high-tech fighter jets. The Indian Air Force plan to purchase 114 medium roll fighter aircrafts for 20 billion US dollars is driving top aircraft manufacturing nations crazy. The US is one nation that badly wants to enter the Indian defense purchases. India has never purchased a fighter jet from the US before. So Boeing has offered its lead aircraft, the F-15EX, at a 40% discount to its main rival, the French Rafale. India on the other hand is very careful. More than the price, India values a lot of other things. India has already shortlisted the French Rafale and in 2016 purchased 36 of the jets in flying condition. But a new tender has been issued and all the aircraft manufacturers have presented their quotation. The IAF has no bombers, so it's looking for a fighter jet which will be as agile to be an air superiority fighter and a bomber with a higher payload capacity. India wants a plane similar to the Su-30 MKI, which is the backbone of the IAF. Can the F-15EX beat the Rafale? Considered the mother of all defense deals, the MRFA tender has many contenders. From the United States, we have the Boeing F-15EX and the Lockheed Martin's F-21, a variant of the F-16 proposed to be built specially for India. From France, we have the Dassault's Rafale. From Europe, we have the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Saab JS-39 Gripen. The Russians are also in the race, offering the MiG-35 and the Sukhoi-35. The most important condition of the tender is that the winner of the deal will have to manufacture the aircraft in India with local sourcing of components. This will be followed by full transfer of technology. This means the foreign aircraft manufacturer will have to set up a factory in India with a local company and also transfer all the technologies to India. India wants to use this deal to bolster local manufacturing prowess. With the transfer of technology deal, Indian defense companies will have access to key technologies which will help India in its indigenous effort of building fighter aircrafts like the Tejas Mark II and the Amkar. India's old friend, Russia, has proposed the Sukhoi 35. It's a single-seat, twin-engine, super-maneuverable, multi-role aircraft. The Su-35 resembles a Su-30 MK family, which India already has in large numbers. The Su-35 has a redesigned cockpit and weapons control system, thrust vectoring engines and no canards. It made its first flight in February 2008. It's currently being operated by the Russian and the Chinese Air Force. Since India already has over 230 Su-30 MKI and is upgrading it with indigenous parts, the Su-35 is not an attractive option. Russia has also offered the MiG-35. It is a single-seat fighter with an improved avionics and weapon system. Since the MiG-35 is an upgraded version of the MiG-29, India may not be interested. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine Canard Delta Wing multi-role fighter jet manufactured by a consortium consisting of Airbus, BAE Systems and Leonardo, formed in 1986. The aircraft entered operational service in 2003 and around 600 have been built today and it is flown by 10 countries. It's an agile fighter that has seen operations in Libya. The fighter is powered by the expensive but powerful Eurojet EJ200 engines. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a good aircraft but is very expensive. Both the initial procurement and the life cycle cost of the Eurofighter is high compared to the Rafale. The Saab JS-39E Gripen is a single-seat, twin-engine aircraft with a large fuselage. It has a powerful engine and a higher payload capacity. It sports a new cockpit, avionics architecture, electronics warfare system and other improvements. But 33% of the aircraft's parts is imported from the United States, which makes the Gripen unattractive. Lockheed Martin has proposed 14 modifications to its existing F-16 platform and has offered a new variant called the F-21. The F-21 will be a single-engine, air superiority, multi-role fighter aircraft. The aircraft will feature Northrop Grumman's advanced APG-83 ASAR radar and enhanced battle awareness avionics. Many weapons, including the latest version of the AM-120 AMRAM, are also on the offer. Lockheed has presented F-21 capable of carrying higher payloads like that of the Su-30 MKI. Lockheed Martin has tied up with Indian manufacturing giant Tata. Tata Advanced Systems which has proven expertise through the manufacture of airframe components for the C-130J airlifter and the S-91 helicopter. 
The F-21 is an attractive option because the F-16 is used by 26 countries. If the F-21 is manufactured in India, then India can be a service hub for some 2,250 F-16 aircrafts operated across the world. The Boeing F-15 EX Eagle II is an advanced two-seat variant of the F-15E Strike Eagle. It made its maiden flight in February 2021. This aircraft was produced to replace the F-22 Raptors and the F-15 CD variants. The F-15 EX has a length of 19.4 meters and a wingspan of 13.6 meters, while the Rafale has a length of 15.27 meters and a wingspan of 10.9 meters. While the Rafale has a payload capacity of 9 tons, the F-15 EX has a payload capacity of 16 tons. The F-15 EX has a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 and a compact radius of 1,272 km, while the Rafale has a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and a compact radius of 1,850 km. The F-15 EX is powered by two General Electric F-110 afterburning turbofan, which generates a thrust of 76.31 kN each. The Rafale is powered by two Senecma M88 turbofans, which generates a thrust of 50.04 kN each. While the Rafale has 14 hardpoints, the F-15 EX has 23 hardpoints. Moreover, the F-15 EX is providing the Amber missile rack, which can carry 22 air-to-air missiles, or a combination of 8 air-to-air missiles and 28 small diameter bombs, or 8 air-to-air missiles and 7 2,000-pound JDAMs. This diverse and high-capacity weapons payload combination makes the F-15 EX well suited to a broad range of missions from air superiority roles to ground attack or deep strike operations. The F-15 EX has a maximum takeoff weight of 36.7 tons, similar in class to the Sukhoi 30 MKI's 38.8 tons. The US Air Force has ordered some 80 F-15 EX. So when it comes to firepower, the F-15 EX is a clear winner. The F-15 EX is priced aggressively at approximately 90 million US dollars per aircraft, while the Rafale was last bought for approximately 96 million per aircraft in 2016. The flight cost of the F-15 EX is around $29,000 per hour, whereas the Rafale costs around $16,500 per hour. But the F-15 EX has a longer lifespan of 20,000 hours, whereas the Rafale has only 8,000 hours. So the F-15 EX is cheaper, has a longer lifespan, has higher payload capacity, and is very versatile. It's comparable to the Su-30 MKI, which is the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Moreover, the IAF is already operating the Boeing's other planes like the Apache AH-64, the Chinook helicopters, and the C-17 transport planes. Boeing is also open to modifying the F-15 EX software to fire Indian missiles like the Akash. So India going for this American plane makes sense. But the IAF has another issue. The IAF is operating multiple types of fighter fleets like the Jaguars, Mirages, Sukhois, MiGs, LCA and the Rafale. This makes servicing and logistics a nightmare. Buying the F-15EX will only add to the complexities. Moreover, India has no experience in operating American fighter planes. But India is facing tough challenges with its main adversary, China, who is operating more than 200 J-20 fighter jets, which is a fifth generation fighter aircraft while India is still operating 4 and 4.5 generation aircrafts. India needs to make its own planes, but for that, India needs access to technology, which will materialize only on close collaboration with the West. 65% of the Indian fighter jets are of Russian origin. Ukraine war has made Russians helpless in assisting India. India has a tough choice to make, only time will tell. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.